Okay, Fred, we're going to do it again. <laughs> you didn't open. Is Minitab open for me? Okay, here's Minitab. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a nut versus volume analysis here. So I'm going to start with what is the Glacier 600 data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the data from the spreadsheet, enter it into Minitab, and I have to type in what I want to call it. We're going to call this Glacier 600 Volume. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. I'm going to get the number of nuts per bar. I'm going to put that in the mini tab sheet, like such. And I'm going to put in number of nuts, and we'll put Glacier 600. And you don't want to use the pound sign. It won't take it. I can spell right here. There we go. Then I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. We're going to get some Glacier 1500 data. We're going to go ahead and take the volume from this spreadsheet and we're going to stick it into mini tab. We're going to call this Glacier 1500 volume. And now we want to go back and get the number of nuts on the Glacier copy. I'm going to call this number of nuts glacier 1500. Now we want to find out the relationship between these two different inputs. So I'm going to go up here to graph, scatter plot, simple, OK. And what I want to do is I want to know what impact on volume and it's going to go over here in the first square and you can see the cursor over here in the X variable to the number of nuts Glacier 600 and then I'm going to click OK and on this scatter plot Fred you can tell that there's a relationship because there's kind of a diagonal pattern to the dots so the more nuts on the bar does impact the volume on the Glacier 600 so now I'm going to go back up here and pick up the scatter plot again. And I'm going to do the Glacier 1500 volume. And I have to click on it and hit select so it will go in the box. And then this one's highlighted. So then I'm going to click the number of nuts on the Glacier 6 1500. And that went over here. And OK. And you can see that this one doesn't have a relationship because it's straight across. Or you might see scattered dots all over the place. Now we're going to want to save this document. So we're going to go save project as. I'm going to go ahead and save it on the desktop. And I'm going to title this Nuts versus Volume. And hit Save. 